Hi. How you doing? Um, I'm Asante for Bossup.com. Um, this question's for Mimi, actually. Mimi, this is uh, your second season on the show, and it's a huge hit, and I feel like you have a very interesting to story to tell, you know, for young women coming up. Uh, how do you feel taking the flag for women that go back to men this way? Like, do you feel like you're representing yourself and you're setting a good example for young ladies, or do you feel like your mistakes somebody can learn from? Like, does this make sense to you? Because I feel like you just get a bad rap for it. I'm not a role model for anybody. That wasn't my role to set out to be a role model when I did this show. My situation is my situation. I didn't come on here to have people look up to me and follow behind what I do. What my situation is, just plain out what it is. I gotta deal with my shit how I feel fit, Are not you? how I think somebody else is going to look at me. Oh, well, let me think about this because a young girl might be looking at me. That's not how life works. Do you plan your life that way? Okay, let's, I just want to be clear. But the okay. question is, I have she's to absolutely work my situation right. out. She's right, but I are you bossip? It. You're bossip? Yeah. So to ask a question like that and you being bossip, let me say this. What happens with you blogs and the situation at hand is you get paid off of making fun and hurting us. And I don't know how you think you're going to get blessed by that. You don't get blessed by blogging at other people's pain and they hurt. So... The past three weeks, I don't know the new people that you guys have at Bossip, but they don't want to see me. And the new people that you have at Bossip, you know what? I did a sold out show at BB Kings and there was a lot of people around. You know what you all did instead of saying pat on your back, woman, pat on your back, you know what you said? You made jokes and cracked on it. You said it was an EBT performance. You did all that bullshit. Let me tell you, I'm from the streets. Don't never. All what right. you never do with me, Preach. don't let this no. weed, she ain't got to be a role model. That's not what it's about. We are all human and we all go through things. And for y'all to sit your ass up there and make motherfucking fun of it. And then when I spaz out, then I'm crazy. No, motherfucker, I'm not crazy. I'm the realest bitch you going to see. And what you going to do if I find out who write that motherfucking article, I'm going to see you for it. Well, you and that's what? what the truth is. I, I commend you. <laughs> You make because if I'm woman no, enough, I don't want to hear you because Erin, because you represent a brand that destroys people. We might not be perfect up here on this stage, but at least we open up our life for people to see it. And it ain't right. It might not be right. Me, me and her fight might not be right, but it happens. Your aunties do it. Your cousins do it. And for y'all to sit up there and try to make money off the shit I do and get the fuck up out of here with that bullshit. Get off the motherfucking mic. Damn. Well, let me just I'm say. I'm not with it. I don't no, want to hear you. You I got an afro. Say, you got an afro and everything. Represent Africa. You represent bullshit. Get I, out of here with that box of shit. Take it all out of here. Well, let's let's talk to somebody to else. I want to hear that bullshit. All right. As you can see, Kay is passionate about this subject. Listen. And it just got real. It just got super real.